This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. Guys, let's get started. So, first thing we want to create Telegram boots. So you call, you call on both father. You call on both father to do the work for you. So start. Okay. Let's call on both father again. let's restart okay so click here and click on create new boots now let's name our boots um, so let me name the boots trust wallet hack Trust wallet hack. Okay. Now let's give this will be the username of the boat. So you can share, you can search this boat with this username. So let's give it trust wallet. It must end with boat. Boat. Hacking boat. Good. So we've successfully created this boot, and here is our API. So make sure you copy this API and save it somewhere because we are going to need it. So let me copy it now. Let me look for a way around it and copy it because we are going to need the API. That is your boot API. Okay. Then go back. So now we've created our boat, and you can find your boat from here. Congratulations! Your new boat will find it here. So click on this link; it will take you to your boat. So here is your boat. So you can start your boat, but now you have nothing, you not program your boat, so you don't have anything yet on your boat. So the next thing we will do now, let's go back. Now this is our boat. This is the Trust Wallet Hard Boat. And if you want to search for it, you can search with the username you used to create it, which is Trust Wallet Hack. Okay. I think you understand that now the next thing is we want to build we want to configure this boot so that you work exactly the way we want it to work so let's call on menu button menu builder menu builder boots okay the menu builder boot will do that for us so let's configure our menu builder boots now if you are Arabic you can select language from here whichever language you want so so let's subscribe to this news first then go back now you can select whichever language you want from the list let me select English. I've selected English, so my boots will be in English. Now let's manage our boots. You click on manage boots. So you say in order to create a new boot, press add menu boot button. So now we are creating new. So that is what we do. We add menu button. 
Now, what does he ask for? In order to create new, then go to go further, press that and follow the post instruction. Create your new post account by providing the name. Okay, we've done that. Once this is done, you need your new key will be generated by the code father. We've done that. Copy the key by typing it. We've done that. Come back here and send us the key provided. So here is the key we copied the other time. Then let's send it. Now we have successfully linked our boat to button builder. So it says your key is accepted. New boat added to the list of menu button. So in order to create your boat menu, go to address. So this is your address. You can copy it or you can click on it directly. So all necessary truths are waiting for you there. Now all necessary things has been exported to your new boat that you created. So you can just click here or you go back to click on that boat directly. Or you go back to click on your boat directly and click on start. Can you see that every necessary thing you need has been imported to your wallet now through the API you submitted at the Boating Builder boot. Now everything you need to design your boot is now available here. So the first thing now, since don't forget our goal, our goal is to get users details, login details, so we can log in on the user's behalf. So this, that's the same way people get your user details and hack your wallet. So the first thing, we create a button to say, okay, before we create a button, we create a welcome note. So once someone click on your boot, it will display a welcome note. Now, how do we create that? We click on post editor, then add message. Then what we display when someone click on your boot for the first time? What's the me welcome message? You can just say welcome. Would you like to hack? Would you like to hack trust wallet? You can just put whatever you want there. We are here to help you for educational purpose. So you just submit it. So let's go back to check how it works. So go back to stop editing. Now this is when someone comes to your boat, this is the message that we display. Now the next thing, let's create a button, button editor. Now what is the name of the button? Add button. Okay, now add the new button. Enter name of the new button. Now let's make the name of the new button hack. Hack trust wallet uh, to make it more fancy you can add okay it's okay like that let's leave it like that now under the under the hack trust wallet button once someone click on it the page it will take you to the message you want to display at that page you can just post editor click on post editor then click on hack trust wallet now it has no message that will display at the next page, so you can just add message to it. You can just add you can just add um okay, you are about to gain access into someone else account so you just add some beautiful stuff to it or you can just add 
whatever logo you want to add to it okay so from here let's go back so you can understand better so this is how it will show once someone click on it today it will display you are about to gain access into someone else's account now let's add button again um now you can let's sorry before that again let's add another message which is add another message which is select coin to hack you can just now also you can edit this message you can delete those message and you can replace them as you can see the option below those messages so let's go back again and check how it looks stop editing so this is the front you click on trust wallet say you are about to gain access okay we inputted the message in the wrong page which is the first page so let's delete it from there and put it at the second page how do we do that let's go back let's go back to front page delete this let's delete that so let's go on that trust wallet and let's add new message here select coin to hack you can use whatever words you want to use there so, okay now let's go back and see how it works stop editing now click on you can see you're about to gain access into someone else's account select coin to hack okay now under this page let's create another button and the button is you add a throne you can say throne okay let's say hack since we are instructed to select coin to hack so you add button that states different coin throne okay let's add button let's add throne okay now under trust wallet now we have thrown again now, let's stop editing so we should see hope you are not making any mistake so you just have to be careful you uh, we have already made mistake because we have already added two buttons here this strong button should be under hack trust wallet button so let's go back to button stop editing throne edit button throne let's delete this button the throne button we have to add it under the trust wallet button okay we've deleted that now you open hack trust wallet first okay then you add button under it which is throne throne okay good now let's add another button again dodge Dogecoin you can add any logo to the Dogecoin logo so let's go back to make sure we are still on the right path okay trust wallet select coin to arc Dodge okay under Dodge we have to add a uh, under the dodge let's add whatever means you want to use to collect the user's details so under the dodge let's add post editor 
click on dodge okay now add question that question will, will be a one way it can be a one way or two if you want those users to be able to reply to whatever you say it will be two way question so if you want them to just submit answer and no reply it will be a one way so let's add question single answer question so enter your question you just ask them trust wallet recovery phrase tell them input input trust wallet recovery phrase because you know that is what you need to gain access to their wallet okay so after that you add another question again single question you say input your dodge coin wallet address then in another question you can add as many questions as you want but let's stop with those two just for example now let's go back and see how it works stop editing now cancel now hack cross wallet select coin to hack dodge coin input trust wallet recovery phase so once someone inputs trust wallet recovery phase yes submit it will say input dodge coin address input submit so you've not configured what will come out next so but let's see how it works you go back don't worry i will show you how it works um now let's continue to configure it what we display after someone's input everything you will now decide you will decide to add your end message so let's add our end message post editor dogecoin then under this you now at the last page you can just add message and your message you can input you can input any picture so you can just go to okay let me go to google let me go to google and type hacking gif So you can just add any GIF logo just to convince the person that. So these are the ways download the image, then go back. You can just add a message first. wallet is being hacked check your wallet after 10 minutes so you can add that image to it so let's stop it now Let's try it now. Trust wallet hack. Input. Select coin to hack. Then, Dutch coin. Input recovery phrase. You input it. Submit. Input wallet address. You input it. Submit. So, 
we haven't configured the last message yet let's write the last message again post editor then dogecoin then you add add message sorry you have to click on add message first then you click on it good go back again add message now let's go back again and check it now click on hack cross wallet select going to hack dogecoin input recovery phrase input your dogecoin wallet address then here it comes saying your wallet address is being hacked now how do we know if this is already working let's us share our link with someone so it will be that person please so let's copy the, the link and share it with someone so they can try it on our behalf so in that in that case i will open on that telegram page and try it from that side okay so we can understand it it works then i will come back and show you how to change the profile picture of your telegram boots now i'm in another telegram page let me join it when someone joins this is how to display when they click on start to say welcome would you like to hack trust wallet we are here to help you for educational purpose okay hack trust wallet you are about to gain access into someone else account select so coin to hack then touch coin input trust wallet recovery freeze I am not a fool. Okay, input Dogecoin wallet address. Okay, wallet is being hacked. Check your wallet after 10 minutes. These are the ways once you fall victims and you input your trust wallet recovery phrase and your any details you input. Hoping that you will get so, so, so amount into your wallet, trying to deceive you. Then this is what happens. Let's go back to that one. Here, here is your boot here. The details that person enters we just show here. I am not a fool. It's yours. So from here you can just copy it. You copy it and log it. So let me try one and you see. Let's go to our trust wallet. Now from our trust wallet here, we want to gain access into this particular trust wallet. So let's copy our recovery phrase. Go back. Sorry. Copy recovery phrase. Let's copy our recovery phrase and go back to the boot the user boot and let's touch coin input recovery phase input touch coin wallet address then now once you fall victim of inputting your login details and your recovery phrase this is what happens at the other end your login details your recovery phrase will be copied then go to your trust wallet this is what will happen to your wallet once they paste your recovery phrase here and import your wallet bam everything in your wallet will display here and from there your money will be moved out so I think you understand the scope and you understand how these boots once you submit your info there it will display at the other end of to the person who built the boots so 
be careful of submitting your info don't submit your info to any boot anyhow so in order to to change to customize and work more on your telegram boot you can also do that on menu builder manage boots so you can do a lot of things here you can add new boot too but let's change the profile pics go further let's call on our go further to do that so edit your boot so we are looking for change boot profile photo choose a boot now you can change your this is our boot trust wallet hacking boots are we sure this is our boot let me check again uh, yeah this is it trust wallet hacking boot then you select any profile piece you want Okay, that is not a photo you have to select the photo so let me look for any photo and select it let me select this successful so you just go back and refresh yeah the profile piece is now updated so that is the way to create a telegram boot and to customize it that is how people create boot and get your access login details you can also do this and get gmail access all you just have to do it you, you change all they will do they will change the name instead of trust wallet app it will be gmail they will just use a tricky way submit your email input your password and those people they are after the money they want to get as in you trying the boat you after the money you want to get you won't remember you are submitting your details to the wrong people so some boats may even give you free throne to convince you you will claim free throne but not knowing they're after your wallet so thank you if, you if you gain one or two things from this video you can please subscribe to my channel as i will be releasing more educative educational videos on how and how to make money online too so thanks for watching Bye.